Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Zealous FX. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to create your own custom anchor point for objects. So what I mean by an anchor point is the point in which an object will spin around or move from. So if I were to create a square here, if I were to rotate the square, it will always rotate from the center, which is annoying because if I wanted the square to sort of rotate from this circle and fly around it, you won't really get that effect because it's rotating from the center and there seems to be no way you can change it but there is a way and I will show you that this is where PowerPoint is sort of quite bad because there is no like anchor point little area here that you can change but it is quite advanced so most common users won't use it but people like me like to use it so if you look at After Effects if you were to create a new composition and then import create a square or something At the moment, the anchor point is over here, but like in the PowerPoint presentation, if it was over here, the square would pretty much rotate around this itself. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. But then in After Effects, it's very easy to just pick up the anchor pan behind tool, move it to a point, and it will rotate around that point, which is a lot awesomer than what PowerPoint can do. So if I switch back to PowerPoint, in order to create this anchor point, you have to, let me delete that, you have to duplicate the object, which is Control D, or copy and paste it, and then you have to put it in equal distance from the anchor point. So if I want this to rotate around here, the anchor point would be at this circle. So I have to create, copy the object and put it about here, where it would rotate around here. Now, with this object, you have to group it to this one. So now you've sort of faked the anchor point by grouping the object and moving the anchor point to this circle bit. So if I rotate it already, it looks like it's rotating around the center point. And then I can click inside the group, pick up the object, remove the line, remove the, turn the transparency down to 100%. And the reason why I turn it to 100% instead of clicking no fill is because with no fill, it is impossible to click. You cannot click it. But if I turn it, oh, see, oh, why did I do that? There, it's very hard to click. But if I go solid fill and turn it to 100% transparent, it still makes it look as if the object is still there. Now, if I rotate the object, it will be rotating around the square. So if I did another one, make sure you can use these lines to line it up to the center. So I could easily just have flip that some interesting animation as if in that vortex game you get on iPods, but you get the idea. So this also has a lot of uses. So not just with this weird vortex effect. You, I could create a stick man quickly. Cancel. Pick up. Imagine this is his head as most stick men have heads like this as ah, head okay let's make it smaller and then if I created a really quick makeshift shift arm imagine this is his arm I could make it look like he's throwing something so black I can copy and paste it this is where I create the pivot point I'll move his head out of the way don't think I killed him um, create the pivot point where his arm socket would be then you can either make it 100% transparent before or after you group the objects I'll make it 100% now so now the object is there you group the object and then I can freely chuck his head back on then I can freely spin his arm as if he's throwing something quarter spin ah, throw. okay Bro. Okay, and then I could easily get some weird piece of blue blob, and you could even use it for the same effect. Like with the anchor points, you can instead of me having to try to get a curve path on that you can't see on screen, and try to make it follow his throwing, but instead of having to match it, you could easily also use the anchor points to create the same effects. So if I click here. I can click here, imagine that this is the opposing bit, group it, spin, 
very fast, and suddenly you've got him throwing or holding onto something in complete motion. So if I push this over here, you can actually see that that's what you're getting, but it's out of slide. So I don't even have to make this transparent. That's pretty much it for this tutorial on anchor points and moving the anchor point. Thank you for watching. Bye.